very much, Madam Chair. I, um, I, I wanted to say that I listened to, to everyone, and most people seem to think that this is an issue we should be seized with as parliamentarians. I first want to commend your committee and your rapporteur for bringing this really important report to our, our attention. Our world is changing, and it's changing very rapidly. This is a world in crisis. It's in crisis for very many reasons. But one of the most important things is that I, you know, we all talk about the Holocaust. We talk about, we remember Rwanda, we remember South Africa, we remember all of these horrible crimes. And they are all within our memory, and yet we continue to watch them happening again and again. We continue to see us making the same mistakes. We love to say, lest we forget. We love to say, we remember those things and we will never do them again. And yet, we do them again and again. And I think it's really important for parliamentarians to protect our citizens, to be able to speak out. We have tools, legislative tools. We have this ability to stop xenophobia. We can put legislation that will end the sort of hate crime that is disseminated on digital media all of the time. And it's being disseminated so rapidly that everyone is being able to be aware within minutes of where hate is going on and being able to listen to and follow it. We must not only talk about what we ought to do. We cannot only nod our heads and say, yes, we all agree, and isn't this terrible? We need to remember that these are people. We're talking about human beings. We all belong to the same family of human beings. And if we, as parliamentarians, don't have the courage to stand up and do not have the courage to speak out on these issues, to make legislation, to stand up, sometimes we appease each other. We use diplomacy, which is very important. I agree, we need to talk. We need to always keep the doors open to talk. But we must also be strong and firm in the way we stand for the principles that we believe in. And I really, really believe that it is time, if we continue to remain silent, we have to consider that we are complicit in what is happening. And this is something I want to warn us all about. We cannot look back and say, wow, I wish I knew. I should have spoken up. I should have done something. We have, are in the right place. We are the leaders in our societies. And we need to stand up and do those things. And I remember firmly somebody that I want to quote, and it's Nelson Mandela, when he became president of South Africa. And people asked him why he didn't turn the tables on the whites who had so harshly treated and, and killed blacks in his country. And he said, why? Because I would be just like them. We need to end this. Somebody needs to have the courage to put an end to it and speak the truth about what is happening, but more importantly, to act. Thank you.